So I went from different communities where our sisters are. Okay. So I we had four communities in different area of the country. So I one of the sister was my companion. She she took me from the Guatemala City to Huehuetenango, which was our first place in 1963 that was served there. We were okay. serving there. We have the El Lambaro facility there. They we sor- serving and ministering for abandoned elders, elderly oh, wow. people. Those without families, whose children uh, have either children, passed or yeah, that's right. Okay, mm-hmm. wow. And uh, we went to Bachali, where we have a retreat house. Uh huh. So beautiful. I have seen the picture of our facilities there in the country, mm-hmm. but only when I went there and saw it with my eyes, I was so surprised how beautiful. And how well it was constructed, uh-huh. and how well the sisters t- took care, taken care of it. What is the name of the place? Pachali. So that's the name of the city. Okay. In the congregation, we have the retreat place. They, oh, I hope I can say it correctly. Verbo Encarnado. So, in the incarnate word. Okay. In Spanish. So that's a retreat house there. We and have, there are pictures online, and you saw them, um, and you're comparing it on to the your, congregation. We in have the congregation. some some okay. pictures, but it's never the whole thing. Mm. We have 50 rooms there, and each rooms have all the cell content room. Okay, and I was so impressed. The chapel is so beautiful as well, and you can they have the wood uh, walkway, the rail. You can walk around for reflection and things like that. Very so nice. It's beautiful. So were you sent there or is that something you went on your own, you decided to? Uh, mm, the Guatemala? Yes. Mm, I was sent there. Okay. But I w- was asked to go as well because before your international year, the sisters ask, where would you like to go? It doesn't mean that you will get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they will ask you, where would you like to go? So Guatemala is my first choice. Okay. And then Kenya and then Ireland. But I got to go to Kenya first uh-huh. and then I went to Guatemala. And the um, that, and Ireland? Ireland maybe in the future. Okay. I didn't get to go this time. It's hard for the vi- to get the visa. Oh, okay. There. So, how, how does this work financially? This who who covers the the cost of your travel? Is so, it? this because I'm going because of the congregation uh-huh. sent me, so sh- they will cover all the costs. I'm so the very congregation blessed. covers the costs of yes. that, and mm-hmm. okay, and a lot of that I'm sure comes from donations and all of that. Yes, uh-huh. that's fantastic. What do you remember the most about your time in Guatemala? The devotions of the people to the faith. And the sisters or the the, the lay people so both, or both both for me both I have to go back to the Kenya and Guatemala for the sister first okay so I believe they have done their best in each country to carry on the charism of our congregation even though I couldn't speak Spanish that much mm-hmm. but I can feel the faithfulness of our sisters there and they really try their best to improve and to help and to serve best to the people and with all whenever i visited the facilities i would say oh how much sweat and tears and hardship they have to go through to build it to 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 keep the oh, ministry, to maintain, uh, to maintain oh, the ministry. yeah. Because when they first came, there was nothing. And now everything's so beautiful in front of my eyes. I couldn't be more thankful. And then the people, they have such a devotion for the faith. I went to um, Esquibulas. So where's the Cristo Negro was? So that's... um. But it's Black Christ, what we call here. It's okay. a shrine. So people will t- 
thousands of people from different countries and in the, within the country go there to visit the shrine and just to make a long lie and then just have a glimpse of it and then went back out again. But they was willing to wait for hours or half a day or even a day. Just to get close. Just to get What is close. this called? Uh, Cristo Negro. Okay. Mm-hmm. Black Christ. So they're all just wait- patiently waiting in line for hours just to come up. Mm, that's right. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then we attended mass there. And everything was so um, graceful that I can see, I can feel. <laughs> like I said, I didn't understand much, uh-huh. but all the feelings speaks the true. You can feel it in the air. Yes, and the, everything. The, yeah, you can tell mm-hmm. by people's faces. Mm-hmm. 